Hello, I'm Glenn Hall with the Orange County Register, and I'm here at uh, Wiener Schnitzel World Headquarters and uh, headquarters of the Glardy Group, the parent company. And with me is Dennis Hayes, the president of the Glardy Group and uh, the Wiener Schnitzel franchise. Welcome, Dennis. Well, thank you, Glenn. Thank you. Now, I can't help but notice that you are wearing a funny hat on your head, and uh, there's got to be a story in there somewhere. Well, you know, Glenn, you, you hit it right there. You noticed. Uh, so <laughs> the idea is, you know, I, I want to put everybody at ease. I want you to feel comfortable because then you'll pay more attention to what I have to say. You know, it, it's, instead of me being dressed up in a coat and tie and very structured, I'm not a very structured guy. I like to have fun. I want everybody with me to have fun. So now, how did you ever get started with this? Have you always worn a hot dog on your head? or uh, what? Uh, no, no, no. In fact, uh, I'll take it off now. But uh, No, I haven't always. You know, I've been, I've, uh, been a minister. I've been in, uh, I was brought into a meeting by a bunch of Hawaiians on a, a, a boat. And uh, I sang as uh, Sonny Bono. So, you know, it's all about uh, getting everybody involved and uh, relaxing the people and letting them know that I can have fun and they can have fun and we can all learn at the same time. Now, uh, there's a very relaxed uh, culture that seems to come from that. Is that the, the way you uh, lead this company? Is that your style? I, I believe it is, yes. I, I'm, I'm a shoot from the hip type guy. I'm not a very structured guy, but I believe in results, and I want everybody to have fun. If you're having fun, you're going to get results, and there's no question about it. If everybody enjoys their job, then it, it just happens. Everything happens. But at the same time, you're running the largest hot dog franchise in the world, and uh, you are trying to build this business. Is it always just fun and games? Yes, it is, because that's what I'm doing. I'm building it on fun. Our business is all about fun. We service people. We provide them with food. We provide them fun. So if, if it doesn't start at the top, it certainly won't go out to the field. Now, in a typical environment, uh, entrepreneurial environment uh, like this one started, there's a real need to just get things done and, and execute in order to make it take off. How can you reconcile that sort of need to act with this laid-back attitude that you're putting out on the table here? Well, you know, we talked earlier about the, the management styles of the, you know, the 50s and what have you, and, and that was more the military style of this is what I want done, you will do this, 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 and this. It's been proven we don't get the results through that style of management. Apple and Microsoft, those people, open those gates up to people where they can have fun, you know, make your decisions, but understand, everybody understand the overall goal of a corporation. And if they do and they buy in on that, you don't need to have a structure that makes sure that you show up every day at 8 o'clock and that you do this, 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 and this. You talked uh, earlier with me about the idea of balancing the work and family life. And why is that important uh, to a business at all? Well, if, if they're not happy at home, they're not going to be happy at work. You know, and I, I, I can speak from an example. You know, I had a great career with two major corporations, but I didn't have time to spend with my family. And when I was when I came to work for Gallardi, uh, I had time to spend with my family. I was having fun. So then I wanted everybody else to have fun with me. So we had company picnics. We'd have our kids. Kids would all play together. All our kids have grown up together. You know, we're a small company, uh, and we don't think think small. We think big, but we're a very small company, and we're a very cultural family. And does that mean you're a pushover as a boss? Probably <laughs> no. I hope not. You know, I, I, all I want is results. And uh, I'm not asking you to go above and beyond other than anything that I would do. And I lead by example. If you see that I'm working hard, I think you will probably work.